So we're here at Darlington Raceway at the racetrack. For the first time in 2020, and it's about to get interesting. I'm about to get on my 2004, 2005 ZX-10R turbo. Um, about to make some maiden voyages, so got my fingers crossed. See y'all in a minute. teething pains here at the track so that was pass number one on the bike and didn't have enough clutch in it obviously when you bring a new bike out it always takes a while to get it dialed in and of course this this like every other bike is no exception so um, we got to figure out the clutch that's the the most important part of any race bike is figuring out the chassis setup and the clutch so as you see we still uh, Got some work to do, but that's all right. It got down the racetrack on the first try. Um, 152, 60 foot, nothing special, but it drove through the clutch the entire run. So uh, back at it. Saturday and uh, I'm back at it. We're going back to the racetrack traveling another three and a half hours. I can't believe that ever since I moved to Atlanta racetracks have become an adventure because uh, there's no close racetracks. Uh, you want to go racing you got to travel at least an hour, hour and a half. But anyway, going back to the racetrack had some problems with the ZX-10 um, the other day on the maiden voyage. Uh, kept breaking the clutch puller arm and everybody with Kawasaki with ZX-10s or ZX-12s know what that's about and uh, hopefully we got it figured out my buddy Chad from Michigan uh, has a ZX-10 that we race with um, he had the same problems for years and he figured his out and he helped me out and thanks Chad I really appreciate it so we're going back to the racetrack today in Orangeburg South Carolina and hopefully I'm gonna have some good news for you ZX-10 fans um, I think the turbo is going to do something good today. Either way it goes, um, stand by. There's more to come. Don't look like the Orangeburg track that I've been to years ago. Got here to the new Orangeburg track and um, we're working on the ZX-10 just to see if we you know just to put the new parts in and uh we're gonna go out and make a hit and got our fingers crossed so this is my first pass on a new Turbocharged ZX10. Hopefully, my first full pass. We're going to see if I got enough boots to leave the starting line with and hopefully enough kill time.
Must not be making enough boost to leave. Now the clutch ain't slipping. see that didn't work um, initially when we went out we didn't have enough boost when we let the clutch go that time we worked uh, Steve Nichols worked on the map and we got the boost where it needs to be at but now we got too much clutch you know so it's like a, a balance act. you can't have too much clutch and not enough boost you can't have too much boost and not enough clutch so we'll get it figured out maybe next round Dude, that's weird y'all can see I finally got down the racetrack she got down the racetrack and she, I must say pretty good 545 for the very first maiden voyage down the racetrack and it drove through the clutch the entire run so I'm happy with trying to figure it out um, got now we got too much boost uh, which drove through the clutch so now we're gonna make some adjustments and uh, Get down the racetrack again, but 5:45 on the very first run, I'm I'm happy. So we were gonna put more clutch in it, but why don't we just take some boosts out? See what we got. Hey, go figure.